Hello, my Pisces, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm Deb and, I'm Debbie, <laughs> and I'm reading for February 18th through the 24th. Now, the night of around, I think it was around 10, 11 p.m. Eastern Time on the 18th is when we enter into Pisces season. So it could be the 18th, it could be the 19th, wherever you're at. But happy birthday to you. Now, I've done my overview, something about a reset. Could be an interesting time, but remember, these are general readings. May or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? My Pisces, I feel like, again, you've got your full moon coming up. What was it, the 24th full moon in Virgo, which is the opposite of your, you know, your it's your mirrored sign. It what It's what keeps you grounded at many times over. I feel like this could be one of those very magical times, magical moons for you, okay? So again, my manifestors, my Pisces, start putting out the energy. Start putting out the words. I know, and remember, I know, I, I, go, I go nuts a little bit with my Pisces because there's, there's that part of you that's so optimistic and then that other part says, yeah, but not this time around. So stop the butts, keep putting it out, Keep believing that at any point, any time, your dreams, which are really deep and really want to come through, come through. Okay? So keep putting that out there. Believe. Believe even when it seems ridiculous. Okay? Have that ridiculous faith, my Pisces. Okay, let's see what we have here. Higher power. Holy Spirit. Okay. Car okay. Oh, eight of water. All right. There is. That's an interesting one with that because that's leaving something behind. <laughs> okay, you got cards flipping out. Um, okay, let's go on back here. Kind of going on a new journey. Kind of looking for something a little bit deeper, a little bit more. Okay, so all of your cards are reversed. I don't know if we're going to read them this way or that, but you'll just know that these are the ones that plopped. This is the one that plopped too. They're all reversed. They have a really strong, strong meaning for you. We have the H. Now, that could be on that 24. If you watched my overview, I talked about how, you know, 20, I'm sorry, 2, 24, 24. Okay, so I talked a little bit about that date. 8 is unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. Water is your energy. Also, Cancer and Scorpio. This is your time to shine, my, my Pisces. This is time to have that ridiculous faith. Okay, this is the time to look at, that you're looking for more, you've been wanting more, and it's the time to really start reaching out, branching out, okay? A desire to move on. Let's see if I can make this a little bit more clear. I don't know if my auto, there we go. A desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. And I said, I said this will be a week of a lot of spirituality. So remember, these were all reversed. The next card is the Ace of Water. This is a new start. This is a new beginning. This is an emotional beginning. This is a divine beginning. You know, and many times there is the, you know, there's the, the hand from God coming out, showing you something new, some bringing you something bigger and better. Now, sometimes this could be with a relationship. So it could be, you know, it will say falling in love, but it's a very spiritual, very, very big emotional beginning for you, okay? It's a positive emotional experience for you also. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, a new home. So it's really, you know, it, there's, there's, just, there's this very strong connection, connection to God, source, whoever that is for you. I don't like to say universe just because I don't like to, you know, if you're thinking about, if you're going to send out an email, you don't title it to all. I want to, I want to send it to someone a little more specific. You can do it to your angels, whoever it is, but I want a specific receiver, okay? So, but there is a lot of intuition growing. There is a lot of in, intuition just with these cards. Moving on, but knowing you're on that path, you knowing you're doing what you're, you're, you're supposed to be doing. Again, this was reversed, the Knight of Air. Now, Knight's underlying energy is our fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, Aries is in that north node pushing things forward. Aries follows your sign. You end the year. Aries begins the year. So this could be something about that whatever this is, you're going to see the fruition of it more. And when we turn into Aries, it could be that. I'm kind of picking that up. 
But the night of air, air in itself is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So, it, you know, so there's going to be some interesting stuff. What was it then? Um, we have, you know, we have a lot of planets in Aquarius right now, but then Mercury moves over to you at the 20 something. So, you know, it could be right around that time too that something's transitioning for you. But, I mean, from the 18th to the 20 something, whenever I told you Mercury was transitioning into your sign. So, air is, like I said, thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans, really looking at what needs to be done. The only thing about the Knight of Air, the Knight of Air believes he knows what needs to be done, so he doesn't really take time to think through. Now, that could, be, that could be the reason that you need this enhanced intuition. You need to follow your gut, because when the Knight of Air pops up for me, he reminds me kind of of the chariot. He, remi you know, he reminds me that something is going to happen very quickly. Something that you've planned for, something that you've been, maybe you've been putting away you know, maybe you've been, you know, putting in your diary, your journal, maybe you've been putting money away, maybe you, you know, but it's like, now's the time, and there's a very strong, you know, whenever, when it is, you have to kind of like grab the opportunity, okay, now, I'm not telling you to quit your job, because I, you know, I, I, I always want to be very clear on that, it, I, it's easier to get a job when you have a job, but the night of air is like quicksilver, the night of air to me is very fast, and it's kind of like you have to be prepared to, to grab whatever the golden ring is. Intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. Events that occur with great speed. Take time, if you're able to, to carefully review your options, creative solutions. And then the last card, again, this one had been reversed, the Ten of Water. So you've got all this water energy around you. And you have basically, this is an 8-1-1. So 10, transitional energy. 1, new beginning. 0, God source energy. Things are moving forward. Again, all of that water energy around you. And remember, Neptune is about your dreams. Neptune, very water energy around that too. The Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups, is a loving energy. It's like whatever's going on, it makes things good for you. It makes your life better. It makes your family better. There's a lot of love surrounding you during this time also. So, you know, so accept the help, accept the love. Um, you know, it might feel a little bit um, squashy. I don't know why I'm getting squashy, but it might feel a little squashy. Not squishy, but squashy around you. But go ahead and accept what others want to give you, Okay. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. So there we go. So something wonderful. Trust your trust your um, your intuition. You, you know, there, it's that breakout that I want to go on. I may not know what's ahead of me, but I, I know that I have to move forward. An opportunity that comes very very quickly. And again, I keep getting squashy. Whatever squashy is about. And, you know, it may feel squashy, but um, accept the love. Accept the love, okay? A-C-C-E-P-T. Okay, let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else is there for my Pisces? And I'm feeling very strong for you. That's why whenever, you know that whenever I'm feeling that way, I start talking very quickly. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, okay. Well, this one is also flipped, and this one is also reversed. So we have a three. This is the three of fire. So remember I talked about fire is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Passionate, burning, very, very determined. Three is celebra celebration, creation, the power of three. Again, I told you to accept the love, accept, you know, accept what, want, that what people want to give. It is all about partnerships and alliances. It doesn't mean, though, you know, so whatever this is about, you're not going to be alone on your journey with this, but you will be very much in control and in charge, okay? I do feel that very strongly, too, okay? Sometimes when this is the, when I see this as the three of fire, um, when I see this up in the different cards, I also look at it as your ship comes in. Okay, let's see what we have here with the... Angels of Abundance, Angels of Abundance for my Pisces, my sweet, wonderful Pisces. And you know that my husband's a Pisces, my brother is a Pisces, um, I have friends that are Pisces, so let's see. And I know, I've seen, I've seen both of them manifest. They don't believe themselves, they don't have enough faith in themselves or in God or Source 
to um to really see that that's what they're doing so let's see let's see what we have higher power holy spirit what else for our pisces this one is not oh we got some cards that stuck and you know when it sticks down we have to say them so <laughs> tires my voice but we have to say it here we go pay yourself first and that's a really good this is a really good um logical and it, it's a good um habit it's a good habit to develop make yourself your most important financial obligations by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid this loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future so take care of that part about you and don't look at it as like i would say my husband does um Oh, well, I'm going to save this up because I'm going to spend it. No. <laughs> Here we go. Next card is gratitude list. Gratitude list. I love attitude of gratitude. Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of this universe. Keeping vibrations elevated. Saying thank you. And then we have savings. A lot of this, this has a lot to do with your money too, doesn't it? Savings. Oh, look at that. I like, she's, that's adorable. Are you conscious, are you consistently saved? As you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do yourself a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. I'm going to sneeze in a moment. Hold on one second. I hope I don't sneeze again. Anyway, as you consistently set aside present funds, this is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. Now, it's interesting because I do feel like, you know, like there is, there's money for a lot of people. There's a money, a money like this reset thing going on. So, could be about money coming in. You need to be grateful. You have to say thank you. And then you have to kind of put things where they belong. Okay, for the future. Um, okay, here we go. This is my, what is this? My Angel Gemstone Oracle Cards. Remember, I like these, especially around a full and new moon, and that's why I use them for those readings, because they give you a little mantra, okay? So they give you a little mantra to possibly say, if that's what you want to do. Okay, let's see. Higher Power and Holy Spirit. What else for our Pisces? Crystal Gem mantra what would be good for my pisces reversed again angel of control let's see what we have snowflake obsidian are you afraid of the dark or the unknown well that would go with this eight of water do you feel vulnerable there is always darkness within light Darkness accentuates brightness to clearly see situations, people, and circumstances. Embrace the darkness to enhance the clarity in your life. Snowflake Obsidian. So let's see what we have here. Angel of Control. I courageously, and remember, you've got Neptune, and you like your, one of your little fishes likes to go into that dark area. I courageously see through the darkness of adversity to make positive changes that light up my light. I know there is light at the end of the tunnel. I see myself, situations, and others clearly and participate in the transformation of negative to positive. Something, this is a big, this is, there's a lot to, um, to take apart with this and especially with your, with your reading. Okay. Well, we know about you are good enough. That is the full moon in Virgo. So let's see. That is, you know, it is in your sign. That's your opposite. So let's see. What else do we have? What other moon message do we have for my Pisces? What moon message do I have for our Pisces? What moon message for my Pisces? My Pisces. Our Pisces. God's Pisces. Not mine. But yes, mine. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. Oh. Here we go. I'm thinking of my Megan. Here we go. Full moon eclipse. Conclusions 
are within reach. Conclusions are within reach. Yeah, you're the you're the end of the astrological year. Conclusions are definitely within reach. All right, my Pisces, let me know if any of this made sense to you, if it resonated. I do love hearing from you. And I, if you see, I'm putting my little Debbie, my design, what is it? My divine destiny with Debbie little icony thing in the heart when I, you know, when I look at your readings. Because I have a new phone and I'm able to do that. As always, my Pisces. Oh, do my, um, the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. That helps. Also, if you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. Huh. As always, my Pisces, and this is the most important part. Always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.